Okay, it's a different type of equation. Now we move on to the last type of equation. Okay, it's a different type of equation, which is minus six equal to minus six equal to six into p plus four. So I already said the variable should be always on which side? Yeah, left side. So turn the equation. Okay, turn it. Six into when you turn the equation, there is no change. Okay, six into p plus four equal to negative six. Okay, now you have learned already distributive property a into b plus c. What is it? Yes, a into b plus a into c. Okay, so you have to use this property, distributive property. Okay, let's use the property six into p, six p, then. 6 into positive 4. 6 into 4. Okay. The plus sign here because this is also positive. This is also positive. Which is equal to negative 6. Okay. So 6 P plus 24 equal to negative 6. Now we have come to the normal equation. Plus. Yeah. What we do? Keep the variable on the left. What we get? 6p equal to right. negative 6 plus 24 minus 24. Okay, so 6p equal to negative 2, negative 2 negatives add on the same sign. So negative 30. Therefore, p is equal. Now it's multiplication. So what do we do? Divide. Negative 30 divided by 6. So P is equal to negative 5. Okay. Another one. Have you understood? What we have to do first? First turn the equation. When we turn the equation there is no change. Then we apply the distributive property. 6 into P. 6P. Then sign. 6 is positive. 4 is positive. So positive 6 into 4. Okay, then we came to the equation with addition. So changing the shifting the term to right side. So it becomes negative 24 and then coming to 6 p equal to negative 30. It is a multiplication. So we have to find the value of the variable by dividing. Okay, another question. Another question. Second one, negative 4 equal to 5 into m minus 4. Okay, what we have to do first? Turn the equation. Okay, what we get? 5 into m minus 4 is equal to negative 4. Okay, now what we have to apply? Yes, distributive property. 5 into m, 5m. Now sign, check the sign. 5 is positive, 4 is negative. Positive and negative, so negative. Okay, 5 into 4 equals, once the negative sign has put, then multiply. Then negative 4. Okay, so what we get? 5m minus 20 equal to negative 4. Now the equation, subtraction. Changing the number to the right side. So, 5m equal to negative 4 plus 20. Okay, so 5m equal to 1 is negative, 1 is positive. So, negative positive 16. Subtract and put the bigger number sign. Now, the operation is multiplication. So, how do you solve m? Yes, 16 divided by 5. Since there is no cutting, that's the answer. Okay. Now, one more question. Three into, third question. Three into m minus five plus nine equals to three. Okay. Okay. Apply the distributive property. What do you get? Three into m. Okay. Three m. Now check the sign. 3, positive 3, negative 5. So what the sign will come? Yes, negative 3 into 5. 
plus nine equals to three. Okay, so three m minus fifteen plus nine is equals to three. First here you can see two numbers. Solve that two numbers. Three m negative fifteen plus nine. Subtract and put the bigger. So negative six. Correct is equals to three. Now shifting this number to the right. So what we get? Three m equal to three plus six. So three m equals to nine. So m equal to how many times? Its operation is multiplication. Yeah, we have to divide. Nine divided by three. So m is equals to three one time. Three three times. So m is equals to three. So I have explained all the types of equations: type one, type two, type three, type four, type five, type six. So all should write the notes neatly. And first, you have to learn the rules of different types of equation and write the notes neatly. The homework will be given on that day. You open the classes coming on Thursday. So on that day, the group I will do the homework.